Hello and welcome back to Tips and Tricks. Today I prepared a little tutorial on how to build and set up a very simple continuous flow intersection. This is not going to be a vanilla tutorial, I will be using mods. What is this intersection, how it works and why you might try building one? Compared to a basic intersection it has increased capacity and the fact that it's not a multi-level interchange makes it very useful for some low density areas. Also it looks quite good and just watching the traffic flow on it is kind of satisfying. Now how it works. Sometimes this intersection is called the displaced left turn intersection which already kind of explains it. At some distance before the center of the intersection the left turning vehicles already cross the opposing traffic. And then they continue towards the main intersection where they finish the left turn. The displaced left turn road in this design is the asymmetrical road so the right turns are done through this road as well. It kind of makes it more simple. Let's go build it then. The mod that is absolutely necessary for this build is the Traffic Manager President Edition. I'm going to be using it for the custom lane connection and the timed traffic lights. I'll also use the network extensions 2 and Fine Road Anarchy. The usual good stuff like Move It, Precision Engineering or Fine Road Tools might be very useful too. Alright, so I'm just going to assume that you have something like this. This is just a normal four-way intersection built using the vanilla four-lane roads. Now these roads are connected at 90 degrees, with nothing really special. Now what I would like to take is the asymmetrical road from the vanilla game. I'm not sure if you can have this road, if you can see it, if you don't have the mass transit DLC. If you don't, then uh, you can easily just use the network extensions road. This one, it's basically the exact same thing. All right. So I'm going to measure 20 units from the main intersection point. Now I can easily just uh, click that intersection and go here. And when the second line, the blue line appears, that's 20 units. So this is 20 units. And I want to build a road that's 45 degrees from the main one and five units long. To do this, I need to use the fine road anarchy. And as you can see, I'm using the precision engineering as well, although these uh, these angles are already visible since the mass transit update in the vanilla game. All right, so five units at 45, now 13 units at 135. And then 135 again, five units, just like that. Now, I, like I said, I need to use fine road anarchy to do this because these short segments are otherwise not possible. But this is actually working in our favor because these short segments won't display the traffic light prop, which is perfect because we don't have traffic lights on a continuous flow intersection at this point. We only have it at here, at this point, which is basically the threshold of the intersection and over here. So that's exactly what we need. Now I'm going to continue by doing this on all the rest of the connections or the rest of the parts of the intersection. So again, 20 units, that's over here. 5 unit road like this, 13 units, 5 units back to this road. And just uh, two more connections to go like that, 5 units again, 13 units and 5 units. This intersection, this particular design is 100% uh, symmetrical intersection. Now as you can see this is a problem that might occur to you. I am not able to, the game won't allow me to build 135 degrees, so as you can see if I move the mouse button, I can only get 125 and 140. So I can easily just pause the game, destroy that road. And what I might like to do, I might want to just create this road at 135 units, uh, degrees, sorry. Just build it randomly long like that. Then take uh, that road again and just build it and destroy this uh, axis. There we go. So that, that's actually good that it happened to me while I'm doing this video because it might happen to you. Now you know how to deal with it. Okay, five units, 45, 13 units, and 100, 135, and 135, five units like that. And that's all. That is the entire build. Well, not exactly. We are now going to upgrade the roads. So these segments between these two nodes over here I want to use the 2 plus 3 road from the network extension. It's the 5 lane asymmetrical medium road 2 plus 3. Alright, so I'm going to just switch that and I need to make sure that uh, the 3 lanes are facing towards the intersection because the outer lane 
is going to form uh, the leaving lane or the turning lane for turning right. Okay, so I'm just going to do that uh, for all of these other connections as well. And there we go. So that's uh, that's this part. Now what I need to do is I need to make a kind of a decision, important decision related to these roads leaving or entering the intersection area. So right now I just have this uh, four lane road in here and it's absolutely not suitable for this kind of a, this kind of a place. Ideally, what I would like to have here is a three plus four road. Now, why is that? I want to have on this side, I want to have a separate merging lane for that uh, right turn. That's uh, over here with, where the ambulance is. And then two lanes uh, for going straight through the intersection or leaving straight through the uh, from the intersection. Okay, so that's the three lanes over here, ideally. And over here, I would like to have four. Two on the side to go into the intersection further and two for turning left into that displaced left turn, this road, right? Now, I don't have that road, that kind of road, and I've searched the workshop just uh, quickly and I didn't even find uh, a road that would be, that would kind of look similar to all these other roads that I would like to use. So what are my options over here? I think I have uh, three basic options. I might use the two plus four road, which is basically going to get rid of that uh, separate merging lane for turning right. And then I have an option of using a six lane road, which is going to get rid of one lane for turning left into that displaced left turn. Or I might use an eight lane road, which is actually going to solve all my issues. But on one side, I'm just not going to use one lane. So all these uh, all these options, in my opinion, are useful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe do uh, twice this eight lane road. And then I'm going to do in here once the six lane road just to show you how it would be done. And over here, I'm going to do that uh, two plus four variant. Now, obviously, the four lane needs to be on that other side because it's going to be for the cars turning left like that. Okay, so now the next step that we need to do is we need to use the traffic manager president edition and do the lane connections. So with the lane connections, I'm going to start at the center of the intersection. So that's going to be quite straightforward. All I need to do here is I just need to make sure that everything goes straight through the intersection without any turns, either left or right or any U turns, something like that. So as you can see, that's uh, quite straightforward, quite literally straightforward. All right, then I have uh, these uh, these uh, intersections, tiny intersections, sub intersections, maybe. And in here, I want to do this. So again, going just straight, these two lanes also straight. This one is the lane going right. So I want to connect it there. And then these connections like that. Now these cars, these cars will have the, you know, will have the green light for turning there when these cars have a red light. So I can easily just connect them like that. And I don't need to care about anything else. All right, so I just need to do this uh, very quickly for all the other connections as well. Now this is very important. And uh, this is very important to do after you have changed all the roads to the correct uh, types, because obviously, lane connections are going to be uh, erased completely. Well, actually not completely, only the lane connections towards and from roads that you have changed when you are doing some changes to the road types. So obviously, for if you don't want to do it twice, you just need to change the roads first and then do the lane connections. It's just going to save you some trouble. All right, so that's it. Uh, one of these and there we go. Okay, so that's pretty much the inside of the intersection. Now, what I also would like to do, uh, these nodes over here, I might want to do that uh, cars won't be able to switch lanes over here because it's just a tiny segment and uh, cars usually do some violent uh, lane switching over there and it just doesn't work exactly like you would like to. Now, also another thing that I would like to mention is if you are using the traffic manager already, then it's definitely a very good idea to use the advanced AI for traffic so that traffic is actually going to use all the lanes in here. Okay. Now, 
let's go over here and let's do this connection. So this is the six line variant, okay? So with the six line variant, and before I do that, I'm actually going to quickly do these because again, there is a very, very short segment and cars might do some really weird lane switching there. So again, I'm going to have just uh, these guys going forward through the intersection. And in here, I'm going to have them turn right. And obviously I made it so that these guys turning right can have a green light together with the guys going straight, right? Simple. Now in here, I would like to make it so that from this one, the, the, the lane on the side, I would like to go to these two and from this line in the middle there. And this line is just going to be for turning left like that. And I need to make it go towards both of these lanes, right? So that is the six line variant. And as you can see, the disadvantage in here is that for turning left or for cars, you know, waiting to turn left, they only have one lane available. So if you don't have much traffic for turning left, then this is good. But uh, otherwise you have to use different solutions. For example, the eight lane road. Now the eight lane variant is the ideal situation, kind of. So I'm going to first do uh, this connection. So again, going straight. So in here, I'm going to go for these two. Now, obviously this is the one turning right. And this one going straight like that. And these two directions going there. And as you can see, we now have two lanes for turning left, which is obviously much better if you have high volumes of traffic turning left. Now, going straight through the intersection, I might just go like this. And in here, you just need to decide which lane you want to get rid of. So I let's say that I want to get rid of the outer lane. So I'm just going to get uh, traffic to go like that. And uh, further down this road, you probably might want to make sure that people are actually not going to use that fourth lane. Or it's up to you, you know, it's up to you. If you want to use the eight lane road, then obviously you might just use it all the way towards like the next intersection or an interchange or some highway connection or something like that. And you might even allow people to actually use that fourth lane. Again, completely up to you. Now, exactly the same situation over here. So these guys gonna go like that. This one going straight forward like, like, the, like the previous one and these guys turning left. And pretty much exactly the same thing. There we go. Now, this is going to be the two plus four, and this is going to be slightly different. Uh, well, not here because we now have four lanes just like we had before. So this is going to be exactly the same. The direction, the opposing, the, this direction going uh, the opposite way is going to be pretty much the exact way. But now the direction turning right is going to merge into the traffic going straight right away which means that uh, at this point, we are probably going to give them a red light when the traffic going straight is having green, right? So that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, sure, I might do just these directions as well, these connections, uh, it's not really that necessary. If you don't have issues with some violent lane switching, then you don't need to do this, okay? So uh, as you can see, that's the entire intersection done with these lane connections. So next, we need to set up traffic lights. We need to set up timed traffic lights. Okay, so for the timed traffic lights, we have two approaches. We can do it more complicated or less complicated. I'm going to show you the less complicated variant. Now, the more complicated variant basically means that you are going to set up the time traffic lights. You are going to select all the nodes on the entire intersection and going to treat them as one intersection. Now, that's really, really complicated, but it might work better because you are going to achieve maybe some kind of a green wave for the direction straight and something like that. Like I said, it's really complicated. I'm not going to go through it. If you would like to experiment with that, there are going to be links in the video description for real life standards where this is explained how it might be set up. Now, the less complicated variant is basically going to be that we are going to do a separate controllers for the center of the intersection and then independently for all these four nodes on the outside, okay? And in my opinion, it's even easier to then tweak it to your traffic situation like that. So let's go. Let's start at the center. I'm going to select all these five nodes and select uh, set up time traffic lights. Now, for all the nodes, well, first, let's add the first step. 
and minimum time of maybe five seconds, maximum 15. These numbers are kind of random in here. You obviously want to tweak it so that it works how you want it to. Now, sensitivity, I kind of want to have a longer phases here. So let's maybe move it to like 0 0.5, 0 0.4 maybe, okay? Now, I want to have, for each of these phases, I want to have a green light in the center. Then I want to have a green light behind these lights. So that's all these. Now, let's say that maybe this direction is going to have the green light first. So we want to first change a mode in here. It's going to be important later. And I want to have green light for both of them. Let's go on the opposite side and do it there as well. And now let's go to the perpendicular direction. And in here, I already have the mode changed. And in here, I want to first give this direction a green light and then green light for only turning right. Let's go to the opposite side and do the exact same thing over there. Okay. Now, since we are treating these five nodes as one intersection, we also need to make sure that before the switch happens for the green lights for the straight directions from, the, from this road to this road now, we need to make sure that all the traffic, all the cars have sufficient time to leave the intersection before the, you know, the other cars are going to crash into them. So what I need to create is a, some kind of a delay step. Now, I already measured that I need to make it two seconds long. So minimum time two, maximum time two as well. So it's always going to have two seconds. And what I want to do here is I just want to give this straight direction a red light like that. Let's go to the other side, red, there we go. Okay, add it. Now, the next step is going to be basically the same thing, but just for the opposite direction. So over here, we still have green for turning, right? That's always going to be green. But now this direction is going to have the, the direction going left is going to have the green light. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And now for this other road, there is going to be a green light and there is going to be a red light, right? And because it's symmetrical, we are just going to do it over here as well. And minimum time maybe again like those 15 and or 5 and 15 seconds, okay? And now we need to set up the second delay again. So let's add a step to 2 seconds and let's just make it so that this is red now and this is red, okay? There we go. Let's add it and start. So this was like a simple setup for the center of the intersection. I might have made it uh, not exactly correctly. It's uh, kind of up to you to do the experiments yourself and maybe just improve on this. Okay, so let's now set up traffic lights for the outer nose. Now let's start with the eight lane road. This is going to be a quite straightforward. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going just going to make it so that uh, I'm going to change mode in here for the direction going into the intersection and I'll make it uh, green for going forward. Also minimum time in here, I kind of want to do shorter phases. So let's maybe do like three seconds and 15 for max again. And I'm going to keep the sensitivity. Now also this direction is now going to have green and this one as well. These two can have simultaneously green light because we are putting that right turn on a separate merging lane okay so we can add that and that is just going to be two steps the second step is just going to be a switch over here so green turn to red and in here green there we go and that's it we can start it and now it's going to work now the exact same thing is going to happen on this eight lane road obviously i don't recommend that you copy paste the 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 configurations because sometimes it's not copied correctly so i definitely recommend that you do it manually all the time because it's just going to it's just you're just going to be sure that it's right okay so there we go exactly like we did before now for the six lane connection it's going to be the same the six lane connection is going to be the same so again first step greens like that just this one is going to have red light and then a switch over there simple now for the two plus four road where is it over here 
it's going to be a bit different because now we need to make sure that in the first step this direction is only going to have green and this one is going to have red because it now doesn't have a separate lane for itself which means that it needs to merge into the traffic that already is going straight so it needs to have a red light like that add the step and obviously the second step is just going to be switched so this one is going to be red and these two green okay and that is it so that's the that's the traffic lights set up now one more really important thing in here that i do want to make let's look at this traffic and how it behaves you can see that these guys in here they always wait for the intersection or for the node to be clear so you can definitely see that the traffic is not moving very fast and that's because traffic is banned from entering the intersection when it's blocked it's not really blocked but the game thinks it is so i want to select that intersection and i want to select this button traffic can enter a blocked intersection and i can definitely do that even for this one and uh, let's just do it on all these directions as well so no wait uh, yeah that one and over here as well and i also want to do it in the middle now why i want to do this is because i'm using these very very short segments over here so uh, whenever there is a car on the short segment basically the intersection is kind of blocked and uh, traffic is just not going to flow very very smoothly so right now we can see that i did that and you can clearly see that cars now going straight through the intersection are not that afraid of going into it and the traffic flows just much much better so this is it this is it i'm going to speed up the simulation so we can analyze the situation so for example over here we can already see that we have built that uh, we have built that uh, 4 plus 2 road which means that the turning right doesn't have its own lane and it already kind of creates uh, some kind of a traffic problems in here there is a line of cars in here waiting you can definitely see that uh, there's a lot of cars turning right so maybe this particular area over here is not exactly done well with the 2 plus 4 variant and this is probably something if you see this then you probably might want to switch uh, like i've said before this variant is for a lot of traffic turning left and not that much traffic going right and as you can see we have exactly the opposite situation over here we have kind of very light traffic turning right uh sorry left and you might also notice that they are using the one lane like at uh, at one particular moment they are only using one lane so this particular direction might be switched for probably the six lane road the the three plus three or the eight lane road doesn't really matter and this is just the basic analysis of the intersection that you might want to do now uh, for example we can see that uh, we have cars over here waiting because they are not allowed to enter the blocked intersection over here which again we might switch we might actually make it so that these guys can enter the blocked intersection you know it's these kind of little tweaks that you might want to do just to make everything flow better and we might also improve uh, for example this uh, this uh, uh, intersection here because now we can see that we don't have that much traffic turning left but we have a kind of a traffic issues already over here because we have a lot of cars trying to get through this intersection straight so you might want to tweak it that for example the second step that's uh, that's the step that uh, this direction has now green we might make it so that for example it's shorter so i'm going to maybe do the minimum time for maybe like one second and maximum time maybe for five seconds or maybe i can adjust the sensitivity to maybe make it like 1.5 and maybe then leave the minimum and maximum time it's all up to you it's all up to you also i forgot to turn it on there we go start it and it might solve these issues maybe it might not solve these issues it's just up to you to do these kinds of experiments for yourself in your city with your intersection with your traffic situation this is just a testing map that i built the traffic situation is definitely not symmetrical we don't have the same amount of cars going in all the directions so definitely tweaks are needed for this kind of an intersection but anyway this intersection is done 
and this is the continuous flow intersection. The traffic that I have in here might be a bit too heavy for this kind of an intersection, but it's still an intersection, and that's pretty much the main point of this, that it's still an intersection, which means it's built on one level, and it can handle quite a lot of traffic. So it's very suitable for some rural or maybe low density areas where you don't want to build some kind of a multi-level big interchange. All right, so that is it. And for a little bonus, this is how a big continuous flow intersection might look like. This is an unfinished project that I'm building in Rockdale, and we are going to take a look at this intersection probably in the next City Skylines video. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you, and I see you next time. Take care and goodbye.